yellow mat here. Uh, today they're trying to get this seat to this car by using this leftover piece of steel, which is also rusty. So yeah, stay tuned. So first things first, getting this seat out. And these seats aren't really good. And I really want the seats to be adjustable. So I'll take this seat out, take it apart and see if I can use the sliders. That would be nice. So yeah, let's start with that. First up, we have four Torx. I'd say this is a T40, T50. I'll say T50. Let's go with T50. So yeah, as I said, it's a T40. Two. And now we slide the seat completely forwards. Three. And then Now that they are all undone, oh yeah, you slide it forward, right? and there should be, yeah, two of these. So one, and then two, uh -huh. and these. I'll need a screwdriver. They just clip on. One, two, take them out, and take the seat out. Now then, let's see how this seat was mounted. We have a slider, and another slider, lifting mechanism, which we don't need. Basically, yeah, basically I can undo them here, with two bolts only, which should leave me, huh. I don't know, we'll see. These are like two bolts and one down there. And that should make the seat unbolt from the sliders completely. Then I should have only the sliders left. But there's the sliding mechanism. Oh, and this is up here. I don't know. We'll just start taking this apart and see where it takes us. All right, it's way simpler to see when you raise the seat fully up. Anyways, I think we can undo these two, these two down here, and that should free up the seat from the slider, leaving the sliding system, everything on here. We'll only lose the seat belt. We'll, do, we'll deal with this later. And yeah, it should be the same four bolts here. So yeah, let's try doing this first. All right, so we have one part of the slider. Now only need to disassemble this, because this is a uh, release to make the seat go forward and bend and to get passengers into the rear, which I don't need anymore. So yeah, time to figure out how to get this off without really breaking it, because I mean, I can break it, I don't need it, but I always want to save things. Try to get them off before breaking them. So just need to slide this off. Now let's see how to do that. All right, now we have the base. This looks pretty good and pretty usable. So what I'll do now is bolt this into the car so I have it firmly in place. And then we'll see from the leftovers we have there what we can do. 
Okay, so basically what we have now is we need a bit of height to have the mechanism working. That's the first thing and also as you can see we need the seats are a bit well the seats are a tiny bit narrower the base is a tiny bit narrower so yeah we'll just try cutting this up uh, welding bolt in place well bolt uh, weld piece we can bolt in here I'll show you everything but yeah we'll bolt it in here and here have the bars run across and then bolt the seats into that now let's try and do it what the fuck is that Let's see, we will do it. Mm -hmm. Please don't get stuck in this tiny seat. Yeah, a bit too high for my taste. But if we want to use the sliders... Does your head actually... Oh, you uh, have room. Nice room. Uh, yeah, as I said, a bit too high for my taste. We're sitting definitely higher than the stock seats, which I don't like. But if I want to use the sliders, I think that's the best I can do. So, so the verdict is, this is too high. I'm not happy with it, and we did all this in vain. And now you'll see the next step of what we'll do. It will be simple. We'll just bolt down the fucking seat. No, actually we'll cut it out and then bolt it down. So oh, I was close. Crazy mode of... Where do we cut it? See, once I cut it, there's no going back, so chill, chill for now. How precise is it? Not enough. Minerals. So, does it fit? Like a glove. So now we've cut off that piece. And we destroyed, oh my fucking god. Another one, another one, another one, another one, another one bites the dust. <laughs> another one bites the dust. I mean... Driver's side. Hello, 
It's just Matt sitting in my pretty much sliding bucket seats. So yeah, this plan worked. I mean, it's not bolted in still, but basically we're done with this side. And it's a lot lower than the first plan, as you can see. So yeah, now it's time to sort out the other side. And we can also lower the front because it's kind of, for the driving position it's perfect, I think for the co-driver, nah, it's good. Alrighty, here we have a finished product. Is it perfect? No, still not. Two things missing, or whatever. Here we have a nearly finished base. As you can see, we've put in this plate back here. So why is it nearly finished? Because, first off, I don't have any whatever the things that need to go under here are called. These bolts are honestly too short, so I cannot only use these original bolts. So I found a bit longer ones. I just need to put, what are they called? And we have to paint this uh, black. And uh, the most important thing, most important part, we still haven't made seat belt buckles. So this is a buckle. This is how it mounts originally. Now, if I was to ruin the seats, I could just cut this off, cut it off here, and insert that under here instead of this. But I don't want to ruin the seat just yet because I will need it to register the car because I cannot get this street legal. Whatever I do, it cannot be street legal. Even if I had original bases, whatever, they wouldn't be street legal. Why? Well, laws in Croatia. Why? Well, European Union, whatever. Uh, either way, now we'll, we'll be mounting the seat and putting all this back into the car. And here we go. One wannabe race car. Done. As I said, doesn't look all that bad. There are some problems. We shall work on them. We cannot fasten the seat belts, but yeah, wanna be race car. For a few hours of work. I must say, not too shabby. Now let's go for a drive. Oh yeah, I can invest in Seabell. We're just going for a short ride to see how this handles. I mean, I know how it handles, but to see how it feels with these seats. Well, it feels quite a bit tight.
to being a, uh, well, club sports back mini. So for now, that's it. And as always, I really hope to see you in the next one. Bye.